Hey, CPP Growth, this is Jared Cohen with another episode of Preventative Practice. And today I want to talk about the classic warm up of the PVC pipe pass through. In the gymnastic space, this is referred to as a shoulder dislocate. Um, but in the CrossFit space, I think we refer to it more as a PVC pipe pass through. And frankly, that's a less, uh, less strange uh, terminology, right? I don't want to be thinking about dislocating my shoulders, I want to be thinking about improving the health of it. So with that in mind, this is one of the uh, most go-to warm-ups I see, and I see it done incorrectly day in and day out, okay? Practice makes permanent. I want to prep my athlete to be thinking about how to connect the dots from, let's say, just this basic warm-up drill to, hey, we're going to overhead squat or we're going to snatch later, okay? So I'm going to have Dustin here demo some PVC pipe pass-throughs that are commonly done incorrectly. Okay, and so what we're seeing here is tons of this spinal extension, right, to make up usually for the lack of shoulder range of motion. Okay, and people are quick to just really kind of throw themselves into that um, as a way to just get moving. And I want to try and bring more consciousness, some more conscientiousness to this act of warming up. Okay, so here's what we're thinking. Feet are straight, okay? He's squeezing the butt. Belly is tight. He's trying to keep ribs stacked over the pelvis. Two hand rule, okay? Now, as he comes overhead, right, he's gonna maintain that relationship and exhale, right? Breathe through those sticky points. Perfect, and then he comes back through. Okay, same thing, we're trying to be disciplined about that. If you are unable to get that full range of motion, here are some ways to work around that. The first is recruit the hips, okay? We talk about our hips and shoulders as our primary movers. If I'm missing range in the shoulders, let's recruit the hips, okay? So he's standing up tall, hips are extended. He's starting to come overhead, okay? Once he reaches this sticky point, now I want him to hinge, okay? And then as he's hinging, keep hinging, keep hinging, throw that butt back more, right? He essentially makes himself shorter to be able to get through that range. Now on the way up, he's gonna just extend those hips, continuing to keep the ribs down to finish that range of motion. Cue breathing, okay, I can't say this enough. A lot of people are doing pull-ups, they're working on their strict movements and they're unable to get through that last bit of range. We've gotta be able to continue to apply that intra-abdominal pressure by exhaling into tension. Okay, lastly here, you can use a band. Okay, so what's nice about the band is that it also gives him some more breathing room. He can AB duck that shoulder, move out into a wider range. So we'll show the pass through again, right? And here, this is just another good stabilization thing for him. Thinking about, hey, can I continue to keep the tension and externally rotate until I allow myself to go back? Okay, and then he comes back through. Again, keeping that tight. One more time. All right, so he's externally rotating here, and then I'm just gonna allow him to relax that a little bit more, right, because the shoulder's gonna come into extension, and then back around. Awesome, this is one for the coaches, okay? The client, they need to be thinking about the littlest variables as possible, put them in better positions, allow them to make sure that they're doing the right things in the warm-up, so when it comes time to actually move, uh, those motor patterns are well-groomed and ready to take off. cppgrowth.com, thank you guys for watching.